Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Trinity University's campus. Today, we are here to celebrate the groundbreaking of Dickey Hall, which will serve as the centerpiece of modern teaching and learning on the Trinity campus. For years, Janet and Jim Dickey's legacy has been felt across the Trinity campus, dating back to the days when they met here as college sweethearts. They have funded numerous scholarships, a professorship, and building projects, including the Dickey Smith Art and Music Building. Today's groundbreaking is about so much more than brick and mortar. It is a testament to the lifelong commitment to Trinity by the Dickey family. Janet and Jim exemplify Trinity's mission to prepare its students to lead lives of meaning and purpose, to continue a quest for lifelong learning and a willingness to serve others. Trustees, foundations, and individuals made significant financial contributions to this project, and we thank all of you for your support as well. I'm very honored to serve as the chair of Trinity's Board of Trustees. I have a very deep love of this university as a Trinity alum and also as a parent of two Trinity alumni. Throughout my commitment to this university over 45 years, I've had the privilege to see the tremendous impact that Trinity has, graduating thousands of outstanding leaders that are really making a positive impact in this world. And I've seen this beautiful campus evolve to become even more beautiful, if that's possible, while delivering on our vision to offer an education rooted in the liberal arts with our pre-professional programs. I think students, as they come onto this campus, um, first, you can't help but think how beautiful Trinity is when you walk onto the campus. The, the, the legacy uh, O'Neill Ford buildings are incredible. I can see the outdoor spaces and the beautiful buildings around it to be a fantastic um, and inspiring learn learning space for students in the future. I'm a huge believer in what I call creating advantage from change. And as we manage through the tough challenges, the opportunity is to create change and emerge even stronger than before. And we're doing just that with inspiring leadership, faculty and staff, and with the generous support of our alumni been very honored serving on the Board of Trustees to work closely with Janet and Jim Dickey as trustees. And not only are they incredibly generous to this university, they are so giving of their time and talent, their governance, their leadership. And they've just been such a guiding, steady hand at the Board of Trustees level for many years. And I value their tremendous insights and uh, commitment to this university and their thought leadership over many decades. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, I want to thank Jim and Janet Dickey and the Dickey family for their outstanding commitment to Trinity through their legacy over many decades of support and governance as trustees and their generosity in supporting this beautiful new home to the humanities here at Trinity. We did a lot of work, as you would imagine, with the architects. And a lot of it is, is more abstract, right? Or just conversational, you know, figuring out what our needs are and very different needs of different departments, different units and that kind of thing. And when they started to come back and sort of show us even these sort of very loose mock-ups of what it could be, right? What your department could look like, what it, so that was a real aha moment for me because it, we'd, as I said, we'd had years and years of conversation of this. And then when you start to see what it might look like, uh, you can really start imagining it. Just incredibly grateful, right? For a family that already had been so generous to the university to to see the value in, in giving more, I just, humbled. First of all, it's going to be beautiful <laughs> and it's going to be extraordinary and it's going to be cutting edge both in terms of being environmentally responsible, pedagogically cutting edge, like giving us the spaces that we need. So one of the things we wanted to do was actually to bring humanities departments in proximity to create a kind of critical mass. But one of the things that Trinity does thinking extraordinarily well is break those <laughs> boundaries and so we work interdisciplinarily all the time and to have a critical mass of humanities faculty close to each other in terms of specific spaces within Dickey Hall the one if you think of Dickey Hall as a sort of a long uh, long rectangle uh, one half of it is 
is devoted to classroom spaces, state-of-the-art teaching spaces. And so there are going to be six of these new classrooms. We also have a, a screening, a honest-to-goodness uh, film screening facility, a room. And we haven't had that on campus. That's going to be exciting. On the other side of the building, we have two departments on the second and third floor of English and religion. Um, but as you enter into that uh, building, the, it's a dedicated space for undergraduate research. Uh, there's going to be a, a reading room. Um, there's going to be a, a dedicated space for, for the Humanities uh, the co Collective, which does a lot of the programming, um, bringing together a, a lot of the different Humanities departments. There's going to be a seminar room, and also it's just going to be an inviting uh, uh, area that is going to have a number of these facets that will anchor the humanities. I think for all of us um, who, who have worked on this process, and I think it's important to note that it's a big group of people. In our in our work, we called it the new building because that's what it was. I mean, I knew it would have a name. It was tempting fate to try to imagine where it would come from. And then when I heard that the primary support was coming from the Dickey family, I wasn't surprised. I was ecstatic, um, but I wasn't surprised because of everything they've done for the university. And it, it's a real honor. I am a rising senior majoring in piano performance and communications and minoring in film studies. It's always nice to know that the school uh, or there's someone like cares about you and your education in the sense that they're making certain opportunities available for you, certain facilities, machines, or even more instruments. The more pianos, the better, uh, more people can play on them or things like that. So I'm happy that that's coming. Uh, coming up. There's a certain limit to how much you can grow just by yourself, but with additional support. So I came to Trinity with a certain level of skill, but I think throughout my time here with professors, with master classes, with different kind of opportunities and with someone like financially kind of backing up and all these facilities, it's made a big difference on what I can do um, here at Trinity. I think what they're investing in is the future of, you know, music teachers or educators and that's very valuable and I think they see in us something that we might not even see in ourselves when we first walk through those doors but slowly we're being inspired by this generous gift. It's great that we have their support. You know, when you're small, your world is small and as you grow, now growing is in many ways, your world expands. But when your world starts shrinking, that's where you have to pay attention. And that's one of the things that I've tried to think about as certain phases of life end and a new one begins. And I feel that way about my five years ago at Trinity, being elected as a trustee. I've met fabulous people. I've learned more about how this incredible institution works and the leadership here, the very dedicated professors and um, the genuine love of having knowledge go to a receptive mind mm -hmm. and then allowing that mind to take the knowledge and apply it. Mm -hmm. I think the liberal arts education and the humanities serve that well. And the advantage of a liberal arts small institution like this in a vibrant multicultural city, I think that says a lot. So students who come here from a small town environment get stimulated by opportunities in the city and um, City people who come from other parts uh, can see the wonderful different ethnicities of, of this city. Mm -hmm. I love that about, about the new uh, way that classrooms are set up as well as the collaborative areas and the lounge areas because we learn more from each other in discussion than just a lecture. The most important people in my life have been uh, given to me by my time at Trinity. Um, for that, I'm grateful. It always feels like I'm coming home.